Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite May products. So if you're interested in seeing what products I've been loving this May, skincare, makeup, all the above, then just keep watching. I did actually attempt to film the look on my face today. I tried to film my review of the One and Done ColourPop collection. Very lovely, but halfway through my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it had stopped recording until when I went to go film my outro. I have very little footage of that, but I didn't wanna let this makeup go to waste, so we're gonna just use it for my May faves instead. As a side note, not all the products in here are things that came out recently. Some of them are actually a little bit older, but I have rediscovered them and very much love them. I will link all the products as well as any corresponding videos down in the description box, but with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So first thing I wanted to talk about is my Super Goop sunscreen. So I have been loving the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. I use mine as an eye primer and I recently got the powder version as well. This is just the translucent setting powder version so I can reapply throughout the day. So I haven't actually tried this one yet but I'm already almost out of this. This is my second tube I've gone through of this. It is literally my favorite skincare product in the entire world. So I did want to include it. I wear it every single time I do my makeup. Every single video you see, this is the primer that I use. It is amazing. I highly recommend if you are in the market for a new SPF product, you will not be disappointed. Keeping along with the theme of sunscreeny type products, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter plus Vitamin C. When I tell you I am obsessed with this, I'm already down to like this much in here. Like I've used the crap out of this. I really like the All Nighter in general and so to have a Vitamin C formulation was just so exciting to me. I really like it. I like the smell a lot more than the original. I feel like the original just kind of smells a little bit like Elmer's glue, but this smells so fresh. It leaves my skin feeling so nice. And Urban Decay actually has temperature control in their setting sprays in their all nighter. So it actually cools you off and is formulated to kind of cool your skin down when it's hot out. So I always find that touch a little cool. I remember that from when I used to train with Urban Decay when I worked at Ulta. I don't see a lot of people talking about it, so I wanted to include it. I have a newer product. I talked about this in my Sephora haul, but this is the One Size Bronzer Contour Trio. I have mine in the shade Light, and I really enjoy this. I was pleasantly surprised. I would say out of all of the shades, my favorite are these top two. But this bottom one is really nice for just adding a tiny touch of depth right on the outer portion of your contour area. What would you call that? Like your cheeks? I really like the shades in this. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. Of course, I can only speak for the light. And the little pans have smiley faces pressed into it. It's so cute. I love it. I've been using this one pretty non-stop. I can't say enough good things about it, so I am going to include this in my May faves as well. I have a couple products from Rare Beauty. I do have the bronzer stick. This is in the shade Happy Soul. I have been loving this one. It is just the most perfect bronze for my skin tone. It just looks so natural. I like that I don't have to use a lot to make my skin feel like it's a little contoured. It's not in your face, but it's also something to add a little bit of warmth, add a little bit of depth. I very, very highly recommend this one. I think these are amazing. I do wanna pick up another shade. I only have the shade Happy Soul, but it is one of my favorite stick bronzers. And I know cream products are starting to become more popular. So if you haven't tried it already, I think this is a good one. And I also have the Tinted Moisturizer, minus in the shade 14W. Every single Sephora I went to was actually sold out of their Tinted Moisturizer. So I had to wait for them to restock and then order it online. But I find it's just such a good shade for myself. I feel like I wouldn't normally go for a warm shade, but I'm actually wearing it on my skin today and I feel like it matches perfectly. It's just that perfect veil for your skin. Like it's not gonna give you an insane amount of coverage. It's not gonna do any sort of like color correcting. It's just like a little veil make your skin look a little bit nicer and I love it. And in conjunction with the bronzer stick, I feel like all of the Rare Beauty products just blend so seamlessly together. It makes sense because they're meant to be used together, but they just have their blend down. The products are so great together. I've tried brands where their contour or their bronzer doesn't mesh well with their foundation, but these products blend seamlessly and have been a staple go-to for myself in 
the past month. In fact, if you look in any of my description boxes of any of my videos, I always link what products I'm wearing. And these two, I think, have been in the most videos over the past month. Probably my favorite product to come out of May was my ColourPop Star Wars palette. I did two looks with this palette and honestly, I've been wearing the absolute living daylights out of this. In fact, Antonio has a good idea of which palettes I wear and how often, and he's even commented on how much I've been wearing this palette and how much I've been enjoying it. He's even made comments that this has been my favorite palette, maybe of all time, and I love it. I think the quality is so good. The color story is so fun. We have these marbled shades. The blues and silvers just look so divine together. And these reds and neutrals, they just look so great. And I've loved every single look I've done with this palette. I felt like this collection as a whole was actually so well done. I did pick up the entire collection to play with and the nude lipstick, I cannot remember what it was called and I do not know where it is. It is in one of my purses because I've been wearing it that often. I couldn't find it, but I wanted to include that one in this video as well. It's just been so great. I love this palette so much. It's definitely staying on my vanity probably for the rest of the year. I've liked it that much. Also from the Star Wars collection, I have one of the Jelly Mutt shadows. This is in the shade Astromech, which is this really pretty silver with kind of a purpley shift and it is so gorgeous. I feel like I'm not normally a person that gravitates towards the Jelly Mutt shadows. I feel like I'll try them for the videos or I'll wear them for a couple specific looks and then put them away and not pull them out again. But I've actually dipped into this one several times since that video where I reviewed the ColourPop Star Wars collection. And I enjoy this one a lot. I like this shade better than the other shade that was in the collection. The other one I think was like more of like a white gold. But this one is so pretty. I think it's such a unique shade and it's really made me gravitate towards those cooler silvery tones in my eyeshadow looks. And I do think I will be continuing to keep this one in my vanity throughout my next shot, my stash and use it a little more. My current brow duo is actually the Clear ColourPop Gel and the NYX Pencil in Taupe. So this is the very fine, precise brow pencil. I've used this one on and off and I can't remember which shades I've used in the past, but I did go for taupe because my hair has been lightened several times. I felt like having too dark of a brow might just look a little too contrasty, but I've been pairing it with the clear brow gel from ColourPop. And while I don't feel like the clear brow gel holds my brows as much as I would like, I'm still trying to figure out the right technique as to apply it and use it. But I do really like the colors and I do like how it makes my brows look. It gives me just the right amount of lift to keep my brows looking a little bit a little bit not so two-dimensional, if you know what I mean. I'm not wearing it on my brows today. I'm actually wearing my MAC brow pen, but I do really like that brow combo and have been using that one a lot very frequently over the past month as well. I have this liquid eyeliner from Rem Beauty. I used this when I did my trying Rem Beauty video, but I think the tip of this pen is so precise and it gives you such a perfect little flick. You can get such a fine and precise line and point to your winged eyeliner with this pen and I've been loving it. I think the color is such a good black. Some black liners don't actually get you that black black, but this one is very, very nice, very lovely. And since I've been trying out Rem Beauty, I've been using this one almost exclusively as my eyeliner recently. I took it on my California trip with me as well and it has gotten a lot of love over the past past month and honestly I think I could possibly finish this liner soon. I have a couple honorable mentions, things that I've been using, I've used several times this month but maybe haven't used quite as frequently as the other products. So the first one is the gloss from the Mac and Stranger Things collection. This is in the shade of Marvelous Max. I did use this in my Jeffree Star Banana Fetish palette video. I used this uh, with one of the looks and I really liked it. I was shocked that I could pull off a yellow gloss and enjoy it as much as I did but I wanted to include it in this video because I was pretty proud of that, being able to fit a yellow gloss into a look and actually really like it. So I, I wanted to include this. I also have a blush from the ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire collection. This is in the shade Delish. It is this really pretty cool toned pink. And I have used this one several times, mostly in the past week though. I've found myself wanting to use this one quite a lot in the past week. 
And because of that, I thought I should include it because I have been using it for a solid week out of May. And to me, that means I've been using it more than other products. It is such a fun blush and I love how it looks on my skin tone. I don't know if this collection is still available, but I do feel like it was one of the most creative collections ColourPop has done and I highly recommend this collection. Last but not least, I have a couple of Jeffree Star products to touch on. Like I said, I did review the Banana Fetish collection on my channel and as a whole, I didn't love the collection, but I really liked this. I used it this morning, so it's a little bit drippy. It's dripping some water, but I really like how bright and glowy this has made my skin. I've been using it primarily on my arms and legs, and I don't know if it's you can see a glow to my arms, but I feel like it's definitely made my skin look a lot brighter and a lot glowier and just overall softer because it's getting some of those dead skin cells off. It was definitely the standout product for me in the Banana Fetish collection. And I also wanted to showcase the Beauty Killer 2 palette. I've pulled this one out for a couple looks over the past month and as a whole, really liked the looks I came up with. I ordered this at the same time that I ordered the Banana Fetish collection and I did wear this one in my Ranking Jeffree Star palettes video. I love the look I created with this. It is not my favorite palette in my entire collection by any means. It's a good palette. I think the color story is very creative. It's definitely pushed me to try and create some more creative things, but I did want to include it as well considering I have been using it and really liking it over the past few weeks. That is all for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today and chatting about some makeup. Let me know what your favorite products this month have been and what your go-to staples are, and I would love to see you guys all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.